<laughs> That's a fascinating question. Oh, okay. How should I put it? Can I swear as well? <laughs> oh, yes, good point. Simon, how are we? Oh, man. <laughs> Straight to the hard ones. How are we? <laughs> Can I say the word on camera? Oh, well, it depends who you listen to. No, we're not. No, we're not. The one good thing about climate change is that we know what's causing it. And that's us. And when you know what's causing a problem, you're in a position to fix it. It's in the same science that predicted so well where we were going to be now, that same science tells us that we've got both hands on the wheel when it comes to what future we want. You don't have to look very far to just see what we're seeing around us already. In the European summer last year, more than 60,000 heat-related deaths. And that's scary as because you see the disruption to lives, the environment. And this year, heat, ro heat records are tumbling every week. The main thing we have to keep reminding ourselves is we understand the science, we know what's causing the changes, we know how to fix it. It's becoming increasingly clear that if we want to live in a safe climate, we have to decarbonise very fast. We can beat this, and we have to. And everything we do now, so consequential, every smart choice, every tonne of carbon left in the ground, that's a brighter, safer future. So we're not It's not too late, but geez, we've got to get on with it. What is a fossil fuel? Fossil fuels are coal, oil and gas. It's basically buried um, energy. Literally, fuel that is created from the fossils of dinosaurs that was originally plants laid down in the Earth's crust over millions and millions of years. It's a huge amount of carbon that's been stored under the ground. Fossil fuels poisons. And what we're doing is we're digging that up and we're burning it up in a matter of a few decades. The problem is one of the byproducts of burning a fossil fuel is that lots of carbon is put into the atmosphere. From burning fossil fuels, we get a whole range of greenhouse gases. They're acting as like a thick doona now around the Earth. That means we're trapping more heat from the sun, we're heating up the planet, we're putting our weather on steroids. That basically is the climate crisis. For 200 years, we've been burning that stuff that took maybe 200 million years to deposit that really should have stayed locked up in the Earth's crust. And that's why there's no way forward other than leaving those fossil fuels in the ground. A warmer atmosphere just means better summers for Australia. What are the actual impacts? Oh, look, I'll tell you about my better summer. Um, I don't see my family in, in these better summers driven by climate change. So. We don't want summers to be warmer in Australia. A warmer atmosphere actually means a whole lot more danger and hardship. Responding to massive bushfires where I wonder whether I'll come home and the people I'm responsible for will come home because I've never seen fire like it in my life. In a warmer atmosphere, more energy, more moisture, that's driving more powerful storms, that's putting our weather on steroids. That doesn't mean a better summer. That means we say goodbye to the great Australian summer. As our summers get hotter, we could easily see places like Sydney and Melbourne regularly have days in summer over 50 degrees. Heat has killed more Australians than any other extreme weather event in our in our history. That is very, very dangerous. The human body doesn't take being over 50 degrees for more than a few minutes or hours. One degree temperature rise, risk of death goes up by 12%. These are deadly conditions. Yeah, great summers. Um, thank you, climate change. Thank you, coal, oil and gas industry. Australians are living through this right now. And we all know that we have to get out of fossil fuels. We've got to drive our emissions down because that's the only way we're going to protect the summers that we love and everything else that we hold dear. We've got to get fair income. Australia is only responsible for 1% of the world's carbon emissions. Why are we being blamed for fossil fuel pollution? This question drives me crazy. In economics, we call this the free rider. It's like, oh, well, I'm only a tiny part of the problem, so I won't bother doing it. Imagine if every country in the world said that. We're a big part of the problem. We are not responsible for 1% of the world's emissions because we export a vast amount of emissions. We very conveniently just go, oh, well, we've shipped our coal over there, they burnt it, so those emissions aren't ours. If we're exporting coal and gas, then we are exporting huge amounts of misery and air pollution to other countries. Australia is the third largest exporter of fossil fuels on a per capita, per person basis. If you take that into account, we're right up there with, I think it's Russia and Saudi Arabia. Also one of the sunniest, windiest countries on the planet. That has all the resources to make the transition to net zero. We've just got to move quickly beyond 
it up for everybody by digging all this out of the ground. And it's an opportunity for us to help those countries that are less well off. So we're actually really tapping into this enormous potential we've got to be part of building a better future. I'm Leslie Hughes. I'm Simon. Kate Charlesworth. I'm Greg Mullins. Nikki Hutley. And I've been a firefighter for ooh, over 50 years. And I am an economist. Research Director at the Climate Council. A health position. I'm an ecologist by background. For the last 30 years plus, I've been researching the impacts of climate change on species and ecosystems. I work across a range of areas of climate science and understanding how the world works. My sort of interest and expertise is in climate change and health. A very famous economist uh, wrote a paper talking back in the early 2000s about uh, the economic challenges associated with climate change and policies. And that was really the first time I'd become particularly aware of how bad things could get. So I was like, boy, we need to do something.